When flies feed on wounds, it can lead to several harmful consequences. Flies are attracted to open wounds due to the presence of blood, fluids, and necrotic, dead tissue, and their activity can introduce infections and other complications. Here's what can happen. 1. Introduction of bacteria. Flies often carry bacteria from contaminated surfaces, waste, or decaying matter. When they land on a wound, they can deposit these bacteria, increasing the risk of bacterial infections, such as Staphylococcus or Streptococcus infections. Serious infections, like tetanus or sepsis, if the bacteria spread systemically. Asis. Maggot infestation. Some fly species, like blowflies, may lay eggs in open wounds. When these eggs hatch, the larvae, maggots can, feed on necrotic tissue, which may sometimes have a cleansing effect, as in medical maggot therapy, cause myosis, a condition where maggots invade healthy tissue, leading to severe pain, tissue destruction, and infection. Try Delayed healing. Flies feeding on wounds can disrupt the healing process by damaging tissue and preventing proper closure of the wound. They may cause additional mechanical irritation to the wound site. 4. Spread of disease. Flies are vectors for numerous pathogens and can spread to diseases such as Leishmaniasis via sandflies in certain regions, tularemia and other bacterial illnesses, contamination with parasites. In some cases, flies may introduce parasitic organisms or fungal spores to the wound. Prevention and management. Cover the wound. Keep wounds clean and covered with sterile dressings to protect them from flies. Clean regularly. Wash the wound with clean water and antiseptic to prevent infection. Fly repellents. In fly-prone areas, use repellents or physical barriers like netting. Seek medical attention. If you notice signs of infection, redness, swelling, pus, fever, or suspect maggot infestation, consult a healthcare provider immediately. Prompt wound care and hygiene are critical to preventing complications caused by flies.